what is up real ones as you can see I'm back in the office the mobile office if you clicked on this video you're interested in learning one of the most universal baits you can use whether it be a creek a river a pond a lake um, you can use this so many applications so make sure to subscribe leave a like down below and after this intro we're gonna get into it <music> Alright guys, so one of the best baits to use hands down would be the weightless worm. And you can get this in so many different variations, colors. This is kind of just a random one I picked up from Walmart to kind of just do this video. Um, generally, I'll stick to like the 5 to 6 inch range. I like a lot of camo or natural colors. Um, but the two go to obviously would be like a natural green pumpkin with red flake or something like that. Or a camo color. Or you could do like the black and blue for dirtier waters, which a lot, you know, that's your kind of go-to standards. But one of the easiest ways to rig that up is weightless. And how I'm going to do that today, so to start it off, a little tip, take your hook, take your worm, feed it up the shank just till you get to that bend. Roll your hook out to where your worm is suspending on the bottom of that hook. And the reason I do this, it makes it a lot easier to tie it on because once you have just a regular hook trying to tie on, it's so light, it makes it difficult. So I'm going to just go ahead and tie that on with a clinch knot real quick. And if you need to see or learn how to tie that knot, I've got a video on that as well. I can leave that link up here. Go ahead and pause this one, check it out, and I'll see you back here in a minute. If not, we're going to go ahead and just get him tied up here real quick. All right, so after your hook's tied on there, your worm will be suspending there. You'll just slide your worm up the shank of the hook. I stick to a three or a four-aught worm hook. And you'll get him there just to that worm, right to the tip of that eyelet. It should look just like that. And you'll see how the hook sits here in the bait. You could just pinch it off there and just feed him up through that center part. And that's how you'll end up with a weightless worm. And I use this in so many applications. I throw it every time I'm on the water. I'm sure you guys will too. If you put this technique to use, I can promise you, you'll catch a fish. Like throughout the whole time, you will catch fish. You'll see your progression go up. So uh, make sure to subscribe, leave a like down below. I know this is a quick video. I'm just kind of out in the middle of everything. Figured I'd keep you guys updated with a little how to. So till next time guys, remember, keep it real, keep it safe, catch you some pond pickles have fun.